Hi everyone. Look, I committed to keeping you informed of how we're tracking with our membership each month. So as of the 4th of September, uh, we had 9,524 youth members. And this represents growth since the 1st of April of net 687, which is a fantastic result and 7.7% uplift. Further, we've had 2,084 leaders at the same time, and that represents a growth of 80 leaders since the 1st of April, which is about a 4% uplift. Interestingly, what could it have been? Our youth resignations for the same people period were 981, and leader resignations were around 120. So we still have lots to do in endeavouring to retain our members. And I remain convinced that retention is driven by the delivery of our program. So I encourage all of you to connect with, an, with one another at a DTM or an RTM and share some of the great programs that are happening across the branch. And again, remember, we're seeking every unit to grow by plus two over the year. I'm interested in what else I or we can do to improve retention. So if you've got some great ideas, drop me a line and let me know. The email address is below. I trust you've all had the chance to review the changes that we need to make to Office 365 accounts as detailed in last week's newsletter. Uh, the link uh, to the support part hub is here. Um, and please take the time, if you've got any questions about that, to uh, drop an email to tech support at scoutsqueensland.com.au. And please take the time to review the article uh, because it briefly outlines the changes that we need to implement by the 1st of October. Can I again highlight the opportunity of AJ 2025 and uh, that the EOIs for the Jamboree are now open and we would love for you and your units to express interest in attending what will be a great event now only 16 months away. And as I've indicated previously, it's critically important that we encourage as many youth members and adults as possible to attend. The intent is to provide the opportunity at the Jamboree for those who missed out in 2022 by extending the invitation to Venturer Scouts to 16 years of age to attend as participants or as support workers. It's also important that our youth members understand that the next Jamboree after 2025 is not until 2029. So please encourage your unit to consider how they can participate in this wonderful scouting event. Last weekend, I had the pleasure of attending Skillarama, a Rochdale review rehearsal and the fifth anniversary of the Buddha Light Scout Group. It was a wonderful Saturday. Over 800 Joey Scouts, Cub Scouts leaders and families attended Skillarama, hosted by the Northern Moreton Bay region at the Redcliffe Showgrounds. And what was even more exciting was that the activities were coordinated and run by the Scouts and the Ventura Scouts from that region. So bravo to everyone involved. We continue to work with the Department of Sport and Recreation regarding our $1 million funding from the state budget. And detailed below, there is a link to an EOI form. So take the time to review, and if eligible, please make sure that you submit your submission. One simple reminder, we have $500,000 for the year 2023-24 and $500,000 for 24-25. So it is a two-year program. We had a catch up this week with Girl Guides to discuss child safety uh, and in ongoing participation of Girl Guides in scouting activities, simply to ensure that we're aligned in terms of process. And you'll hear more about that over the coming week. I also had the chance this week to chat with other youth agencies, Girl Guides, PCYC and the Girls Brigade simply to share what each of us are doing in our organisations in terms of our programs and events. I attended a Joey Scout Challenge Award presentation for Ewan at Wilston Group and a Queen Scout presentation for Ryan at Burpengary. And congratulations to those two young people. I hope you have a great week and good scouting.